set point. The intensity out there in both these men is just sending waves out to the crowd. You can almost touch it. Agassi never following his serve into the net as yet. Makes life a bit easier for Becker. Very indecisive lob indeed, nothing on it. Sort of time a player says to himself, hit it. Feeling they've chickened out on the situation. Yeah, he thinks that was a fault. In other words, a double fault. Agassi was working for that, worked it out exactly what was going to happen. He was going to get Becker once again out of position. Big gaping hole in the court to, the, to Becker's forehand, and he took it. 6-4, first set, Agassi. Excellent first set to watch, wasn't it? Full of, uh, full of good stuff, full of tension. Not much against the serve until that ninth game when Becker was broken. In fact, only one game up to that point had gone as far as 30. All the rest to level 15. Oh. It's the first volley I can remember Becker missing. On serve. I think he's only missed time about one of those. Yes, that it's been the most impeccable display of lobbies of, of uh, volleys of <laughs> lobs. Rather. How about lobbies? <laughs> yes. Well, whatever you call them, they're killing <laughs> Becker. Yes. And they're keeping Becker a bit further back from the net, perhaps. Very difficult thing to do this, and he makes it look so easy.
Man stuff there from Becker. But I thought he done he was. He could have capsized there and didn't. Watching Sky Sports. I've always been very competitive. got to do to try and turn this match round. Well, I would have thought what he's got to do is try and create something on Agassiz's serving. That's when he's in real difficulties. He doesn't seem to have any answers there. Oh, Except the short ball. Agassiz is playing such efficient tennis off the ground that you tend to forget that almost every shot is a percentage shot for Agassiz. Whereas Becker takes sometimes undue risks. A couple of times, for example, in the first set, he's floated the ball with slice down the line too long. You don't find Agassiz taking that sort of risk. Hence, he loses very few points. It's partly a technical thing too, isn't it? I mean, Agassi has no, almost no back left at all, so nothing can yeah. really go wrong, can That's it? That's right. That's what Fred Perry said. The shorter the swing, the less can go wrong before you hit the ball. Brad Gilbert, Agassiz's coach, good influence on him. Agassi when they get into these baseline rallies.
He's really keeping up terrific pressure. I mean, that one was very fast. For Becker, that is fast, 124. Not one of the fastest servers normally, like Krajicek's dish, Ivanisvich. Oh, that was fun. When Becker comes to the net, every time he comes to the net, he's taking the most enormous risk. Not just that he's going to get a, a passing shot rifled by him, but as we've seen so many times, he's going to get the ball humming with topspin, floating over his head irretrievably for him. One thing, though, that uh, Gilbert hasn't been able to give Agassi, in fact, nobody's given Agassi, is this zeal. He's, he's playing his tennis ever since he arrived at the US Open last September with a, with a zeal, a sort of overpowering, overwhelming commitment that he's, was only occasional, seen to me, beforehand. Yes, I think Brad Gilbert has made that occasional zeal consistent. It's been a terrific influence on him. As Agassi says. Can't legislate against this sort of thing. One handed. two double faults in this game but I think really what stunned him was that return phenomenal return on game point to Becker <laughs> 